What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I have three dividend stocks in November that dominate QYLD. They have dominated QYLD. They're about the same price range as QYLD. And I'm going to go over the box theory. And so far, QYLD ain't all that. So a lot of you guys that love QYLD, remember, I, eventually I will buy QYLD again. I think they're way better than a bond for dividend income. But right now I'm capitalizing on high yield dividend stocks with solid dividend growth and are more reliable than QYLD. And it's good to be back in the 440, by the way. So I uh, was in a big group project in nurse practitioner school and I just said, I'm taking over. So I did a huge spreadsheet for people and um, I'm back doing videos. So we're in good shape. Hopefully we'll get an A and get that out of the way. And 400 shares is my goal with these dividend stocks. So we're going to go over these three. We're going to start with QYLD. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check these stocks out right now. So first, let's go over QYLD. I'm just going to do a brief introduction with these guys. This is the Global X NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF. So these guys are not going to beat the S&P. As I start with the box theory, you're going to get a price range of, let's just say, 20 some dollars, 25 at best, to maybe 12 at worst. So you're stuck top to bottom. And then I'll go over the dividend income range where you're stuck between here and here, and you're never going to go past here. And you're going to probably be stuck here, maybe even less, but you're not going to go further and beyond with any hikes. One month, you're lucky, but after that, you're not. These guys are not Jeppy or JEPQ. Those two are way better. So I'm going to give you a heads up on that. I believe that those are way better. Again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes. Only disclaimer in the description. But these guys are not all that. So again, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to buy these guys in the long run for passive income. Because I like these guys way better than bonds. Bonds are not good for dividend income. I don't care what people say, the I-bonds, blah, blah, blah. These guys are way better. I'm gonna show you why, but let's go over these guys real quick. So QYLD seeks to generate income through covered call writing, which historically produces higher yields in periods of vol volatility. QYLD has made monthly distributions for eight years running. They write call options in the NASDAQ 100 index, saving investors the time and potential expense of doing so individually. So there's a few things that are issues with these guys in the long run. So these guys also follow cover call or buy right strategies, which the fund buys the stocks in the NASDAQ 100 and writes or sells corresponding call options in the same index. So right here, their yield is 16.74. The distribution yield is 12.29%. But there's a few other things in the long term that I have an issue with. Here I have an issue with the expense ratio. So you have to pay an expense ratio, and I'll go over the dividend history. The expense ratio is 0.60%. So you're getting money taken out for something that's in a box. Now let's go to their dividend history. So at worst, I've seen 12 cents. This is in 2017. And then 2022, you're getting around 18 cents, 16 cents, 20 cents at best. I saw 23 cents, which is one of their best things. This is a rare one at 49 cents. You're not going to see that that often. So don't expect that to be that high in the future. So you're basically stuck in a box. You're not going to go, you're going to be 13, let's just say 13 cents at worst. Hopefully it doesn't get worse, but you're stuck at, let's just say when things are good, 22 cents. So you're never going to go above that amount. You're lucky at 49 cents, but you're stuck within this range. So top to bottom, you got a price range, price per share. They're not going to improve. And then dividend, they're stuck within this box. So they're not, they're not getting anywhere. So let me show you my three dividend stocks that run circles around them, and I'm going to continue to buy. Let's start with the first dividend stock. My first dividend stock is Arbor Realty Trust. It's sitting at 1370 with a dividend yield of 11.39%, a PE ratio of 7.63. Remember, this is a mortgage-backed real estate investment trust. FFO is more important. 
Average volume is 2.39 million. The market cap is 2.33 billion US dollars. Gear range is 1116 to 2074, and its previous close is 1370. I have over 400 shares with these guys, and I'm going to continue to buy more. I might get to 800 and then just leave it alone. I like the dividend income. I'm going to go over these guys briefly. So, as a mortgage backed real estate investment trust, they're a multifamily lender. They're the top 10 lender by volume for more than a decade. They're a FHA lender, a single family rental portfolio financing, Ar Arbor Loan Express, in house loan servicing, mezzanine and preferred equity financing, bridge financing, and Freddie Mac multifamily lender. So they're a top three SBL lender, which is nice. And also a top 10, 15th year in a row for multifamily lenders. So that's very um, interesting. Now let me show you their revenue and dividend history. So first, let's start in 2015. This is in millions US dollars. 142, 2016, 213, 2017, 346, 2018, 484, 2019, 535, 2020, 603, and 2021, 799. So let's jump to their dividend history. So I'm going to start in 2015, and this is a quarterly dividend stock. 15 cents, 2016, 16 cents, 2017, 18 cents, 2018, 21 cents, to 25 cents to 27 cents. Then you get a little special dividend of 15 cents in 2019. Then 2019, 27, 28, 29, 30. Then 2020, 31, then 33, then 34. Then 35 in 2021, then 36, then 37, then 38, then 39 cents. So the payout ratio is 75%. Now, again, real estate investment trust, okay, 90% of what they make go back to investors. So their number of dividend increases in the last five years is 17. Annualized dividend growth in five years is 13.14%. QYLD doesn't have a dividend growth. And again, 39 cents, 15, 30, 45, okay, that's not too bad. But if you look in the long term, these guys run circles around QYLD. And remember, there's not an expense ratio with these guys. You bought one share, you made 156 with 11.39% dividend yield. So over time, again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description, their revenue increases come back to us. So this is what's important with these guys. Their dividend growth over time potentially can be better than QYLD. So you can do a quick temporary fix and say, oh, I'm making more money with QYLD. But in the long term, these guys appear to run circles around them. This is why I buy more and I have way more confidence in Arbor Realty Trust than I have in QYLD. Now let's jump to the next dividend stock. And the next one I like is Hercules Capital. It's sitting at 1451. This is a business development company. 9.92% dividend yield, a PE ratio of 132.62, average volume 1.20 million, market cap 1.85 billion US dollars. G range is 1116 to 1909. And its previous close is 1451. So these guys are not too bad price wise. Now let's check out this business development company. You need to know the nitty and gritty inside the business development company this is why i studied these guys before i pulled the trigger and started buying more shares check this out so these guys are the largest business development company focused on venture lending and the lender of choice for innovative entrepreneurs and their venture capital partners so 15 plus zero billion in commitments 230 ipo and ma exits 590 companies funded 2.9 billion assets under management, 1,000 plus co-investments with VC and PE firms, 1.04 billion in new debt and equity commitments. So this is what they focus on. Life Sciences Technology, SAAS, Sustainable and Renewal, Renewable, I can't even speak today, and Special Situations. So they have these type of industries that they focus on. Now, these three right here, I like these three because these are huge right now. Okay, technology, obviously advances in reach, research and science, and SAAS is huge. Now, let's check out their revenue and dividend history. So first, with a business development company, remember 90% of what they make come back to us as investors, same as real estate investment trust. 
So 2015, this is in millions of US dollars, 157. 2016, 175. 2017, 190. 2018, 207. 2019, 267. 2020, 287. And then 2021, 280. So there's a huge increase in revenue. Now, let's check out their dividend history. So check this out. Let's start in 2020. It was 32 cents. Then it jumped to 34. Then 37. Then 39 cents. Then to 40 cents. Then to 48 cents. And then to 50 cents. And then to 51 cents. So the dividend growth in five years is 1.75%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 12. Payout ratio is 102%. That's going to be fine. I'm not too worried. So if you bought one share, you made 140 with a 9.65% dividend yield. So they have consistent dividend hikes and their revenue is jumping up. So the payout ratio looks high right now, but I looked at the fundamentals and the revenue and how things are going and things look pretty good. So again, I'm not giving financial advice for entertainment purposes only, disclaimer in the description, but guess what? I'm getting better dividends in the long run as a BDC than I am with QYLD. So they're not stuck in a box and neither is Arbor Realty Trust. Let's jump to the final dividend stock. My final dividend stock is Aries Capital Corporation. It has a dividend yield of 9.81%, a PE ratio of 11.76, the average volume 3.07 million, market cap is 9.95 billion US dollars. Year range is 1653 to $23 straight. Previous close was 1958. Now let's check these guys out. So Aries Capital is a business development company. They consist of 458 portfolio companies backed by 224 different private equity sponsors. They have a diversified portfolio in terms of issuer concentration, asset class, industry sector, and geographic representation. So their composition is right here, the West and Midwest and Southeast. They have software and services, healthcare services, Ivy Hill Asset Management. They have a secured senior uh, loans right here. They also have software. These are big, uh, senior sub subordinated debt. They have power generation, consumer services, and capital goods. So their diversification is strong. Now their revenue and dividend history is strong as well. So let's check this out. And these guys have improved significantly. And by the way, tomorrow when I post a video, there is somebody that's very closely tied with Aries, then I'm going to do a, a video on them tomorrow. So make sure you hit that notification bell after you subscribe watching this video. So revenue in millions of US dollars, 2015, 1,025, 2016, 1,012, 2017, 1,160, 2018, 1,337, 2019, 1,528, 2020, a little bit of a dip. You can blame the pandemic, 1,511, and then 2021, 1,820. Now let's check out their dividend history. So recently, these guys have made a huge comeback with their dividend. So they were at 40 cents, then they jumped to 41 cents in 2021. Then 2022, they jumped to 45 cents. Now it shows three cents, but they jumped to 48 cents. So there's a little bit of an error just because it shows the three cents. So I can't accurately confirm the dividend growth per Zacks because I like doing outside sources for confirmation with dividend growth stocks because I believe it's more legit and Zax is very reliable. I think there's a lot of validity and reliability with Zax and other websites. So I like to refer to Zax with dividend growth and dividend history. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so not miss future videos. Do you like these three dividend stocks over QYLD? You let me know. And again, I have a video for you tomorrow, so make sure you hit that notification bell after you subscribe. You guys take care and have a good one.